many times that insect is beating its wings on the way past. Pythagoreanism is an incredible adventure in, in, in both art, mystery, science, you know, all sorts of things. It links things in a meaningful way. And this is what Kabbalism tries to do as well. Whether it does so to the same amount of success is arguable, but... Um, like I said, from a young age, Robert was very, very taken with the idea that we can know, we can know the, the <coughs> secret codes behind appearances. This is from a very, very early piece by him. It's his notes on Velasquez, which he made when he was in his mid-teens. Um, in which he says, apart from the original sensitive awareness, the aesthetic impact, the sensitive awareness, <coughs> the creating of art, be it music, literature, sculpture, or painting, appears to me to be little short of a science. In the case of painting, the use and application of the materials, the choice of subject uh, uh, to display emotion, indeed, inevitably, these you know, display emotion, but all of the applications on the canvas of the myriad intricacies entailed in hours of highly developed perception is surely mathematical. It's a very strange thing for a young artist to say, is surely mathematical. Now, as a philosopher, whenever I see the word surely, I always say, that, that's... It's like the spontaneous therefore in an argument. Yeah? When the word therefore comes out, or the word surely comes out, that's when you start. Suspicion is aroused. But he is convinced at this age, or at least he is arguing at this age, that the relationship between tone, colour, form, there's a mathematical pattern behind these things. Where is he getting this from at this age? <coughs> the short answer is, at the time, one of the most renowned philosophers logicians, philosopher of mathematics, in England, Bertram Russell. Robert was introduced to Bertram Russell by Axel Nahok. Axel Nahok had known the, the Lenkovitzes from, from the day they were born. Um, and <coughs> Axel was a bit of a social amphibian. He knew people in the highest and lowest stations of London society. And um, he introduced Robert to Bertram Russell. Bertram Russell, along with Alfred North Whitehead, was a a philosopher of mathematics and mysticism. And Robert would go around to Russell's house to discuss this sort of thing. So, 